What's up, traders? Welcome to the hot seat presented by Tradezilla. Today, I'm sitting down with my co host from the podcast, my brother from another mother, Evan Dyer, is here for episode number one of this hot seat segment. Now, if you didn't hear about this, I tweeted about it and I put it out all over social. We're putting people in the hot seat to talk about how they use Tradezilla in their day to day trading. And each video, I'm going to look to highlight different features from the software, from the platform that people are using how they're using them, and that way you guys can start doing the same thing if you're not already. Now, we have links in the description if you want to sign up for Tradezilla. Make sure you check out those discounts for the monthly and the yearly plans. But let's get into it, Ev. So first thing we're talking about here is you've got a really nice looking Tradezilla, bro. I got to show everybody your dashboard. You got to be proud of this a little bit. Yeah, I like the day win percentage a lot and the trade win I'll take out of 65. I mean, I feel like in the moment for all of us, it feels like it's maybe like a 70, 75, 80, but like truthfully, it's only a 65. Yeah, it's true. Now you've got some customization on here too. I've noticed like you've got your weekly P and L summary here. You've yep. got this current streak thing here. These are new. These are new little yep. features in Tradezilla, right? Yeah. I just added that recently of just seeing the cool streak of like the most green days I've had in a row of like 11. And that was like between the back half of a month and the start of the next one. And then even the trades is cool, but I feel like the day one, even just saying, okay, on average or not even average, the most red days I've had in a row was four. Like I wasn't on tilt yeah. for like two weeks or a really rough stretch. It was four days. So I'll take that yeah. any day of the week. And best streak is 11, nine yeah. trade losing streak, but 14 trades on the best. I mean, those are good stats, dude. Very good yeah. stats. I think, would you agree with me? What I'm kind of getting into the mindset of is like your trade win percentage doesn't matter as much as your day win percentage when you're talking about getting payouts. Do you agree with that or disagree? Yeah. And I would even say just healthy. If I could keep the day win percentage higher, I'm just going to probably trade better off that I can now hopefully have a higher win rate where if I'm, break even on like 10 red days to 10 green i'm probably not in the flow of things and my win rate's going to suffer just because i don't like losing that much that many red days right nobody likes seeing that many even though you could still turn a profit being that close together i think it is seeing a healthier day win percentage if i only made 200 bucks today yesterday i made a thousand but today's still going to end green we're making progress i don't need to hammer it and turn it into a red day now for no reason and what i would like suffer from is like if you focus too much on win rate you end up winning smaller and then one big loss erases all of it so it's yeah. like the win rate isn't that important because one big loss can wipe you clean Absolutely. so let's get into the reports i want to i know this is what we were going to talk about here today let's show everybody really what you're using so when you track your trades everybody and you put in multiple accounts here over different periods of time you get a lot of good data but this can be a little overwhelming you can break down these reports by day by week by month but why don't you talk to us about what you're specifically using here on the overview section ev well, from that page, I do like the average hold time. It's a break even at 20 minutes, 20 minutes for my wins and losses. And even if it was a little bit different, because I think if you break it down by previous months or so, it would be. But 20 minutes is all I'm in my trades, win or lose, for the most part, on average. I'm not really holding it for an hour, two hours. Of course, I probably have one or two trades that I stretched a little bit. Well, on average, I'm being told I'm wrong pretty quickly, or I'm winning that one hour, 10 points, 12 points, whatever, pretty quickly, because I'm getting a good price when we're ready to move. So I'm not really having to sit through my trades very long, which I enjoy because I'm looking for one to two trades a day. That's basically saying me my mind's going to be in a trade for 40 minutes. I'm going to feel fresh by the end of the week. I wasn't sitting through trades for four hours a day, now four days a week or heading into Friday. I'm exhausted. It's like I've technically now, sat through like a trade for like an hour all week. Right, right. Now think back to before Tradezilla, before you actually knew the stats. What would you have guessed your average hold time was? maybe an hour around an hour right. a little less right right like i know so i wasn't ever stretching it but can you can you say like what does actually knowing this stat help you with does it help you cut your winners you know in profit if you're up in 20 minutes you're getting out of that trade because you know that's about an average win or for the losses does it tell you when to get out of losses like what specifically does this do for you yeah, I would say there's definitely, since it's the average, that if it's not moving right away, it's not the end of the world. But if I'm sitting through for like 30 minutes and we're still not confirming my idea, even though the idea still might stand, it's like it's not normally taking this long. Maybe you don't have a great price or price action just isn't moving the speed that you wanted to or thought it was this morning. And then same thing with the winners. If I get, like, let's just say an easy example, 20 minutes of straight drop in my direction on a short, I'm going to take that trade just psychologically. Like that's a quick, easy, stress-free winner. Lots of movement and points why do i need to sit in this longer i know a pullback probably wants to come so a lot of the 20 minutes probably comes from that I'll be like, yeah i'm just getting out and it could continue to fall it's not like my full moves take 20 minutes i'm just getting out probably after 20 because that's a nice move let me get out before the market pulls back i could always get back in 
100%. Last question. How many minutes per day are you usually spending in Tradezilla? Because I think people get intimidated. And I want to hear from all of the people that I have on this new segment. How often are you really getting into Tradezilla and putting in work to look at the stats and also do your daily report cards and stuff like that? To do daily report cards, I'll probably just copy the link real quick, paste it in my DRC, but no other thoughts put into the DRC until later on. Or if I took a trade, I'm out of it. And I'm not looking for another one. I can give the time it needs. I don't really focus doing my DRC while I'm potentially looking for that next trade. Um, and then using the reports, I do like to use them probably almost at the end of every week at the least, just to see this week, which was my best trading day. Did I trade more on Tuesday than Thursday? Why so much on Tuesday? What was the P&L with that? Because like, I just know looking at all my trades, when I trade the most, I don't make the most. I actually make the least. So I want to make sure I'm in line with that. I take one to two trades per day was the risk pretty limited i didn't have any blowout days and i'm in line with these stats i don't really want to see drastic changes unless obviously it's for the for the better of course so a weekly review is really where you're using it the most other than the day-to-day -day with the daily report card so not a lot of time is the yeah, answer i can't add yeah. two trades today and expect right. my stats oh my average hold time is actually now an hour and a half it's like that's not gonna happen it probably went up a minute so it's something you got to commit to you got to commit yeah, to using tradezilla and that's, you know, for everybody that's not signed up, use the links in the description. You don't have to jump in with the year, but I've got a link and a discount code for you to try it out for a month. Give it a month and then decide if you need it for the full year. But I think most people do the monthly and switch to the yearly because like you just said, Ev, you need time to collect the data to know where to make the improvements. But this is great, bro. Thank you for doing this first segment with me. Viewers, make sure you guys check out the links in the description. Big thank you to Tradezella for sponsoring this segment. And we'll see you guys in the next episode.